I love peeling garlic and working with garlic because I love the smell of garlic on my fingers. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. It smells so good. It smells so good. Fuck lotion. Fuck like, you know, when people have like, they're like scented citrusy lotions and stuff. If someone made a garlic lotion, I would wear that. <laughs> Faraday Culinary Director at Munchies, and today we're going to make an Italian Sloppy Joe. Now, an Italian Sloppy Joe is basically a classic bolognese combined with a really cheesy garlic bread. You put it together in a sandwich, and it's delicious. So to make the bolognese, we have two kinds of meat. we got ground beef and ground pork. We have an onion, some garlic, some milk, some red wine, some butter, some salt, some tomatoes, and some carrots. To get started with the bolognese, I'm going to melt about four tablespoons of butter in my pan as well as a little bit of oil, maybe like two tablespoons of oil in there. And while that's heating up and melting, I'm going to slice up my onion. So I'm gonna dice this onion, it's just one medium yellow onion, and then I'm also going to peel and dice up a couple carrots for this guy as well. If you don't like carrots, you don't need to use carrots. I don't feel like that's necessarily something you have to do in this dish. I kind of like a lot of carrot in mine, which is why I'm using two. So I'll add my onion and carrot into this guy. I always like the combination of butter and oil. I love cooking everything in butter, especially with like a lot of Italian cooking. Like I feel like butter in red sauce is like the secret ingredient, you know? So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in here. This is to help it sweat. It kind of draws out the moisture and it will soften it nicely without getting too much color on it. Let's give that a nice little stir. So my mom's Italian. I actually learned to cook this recipe though at the Italian restaurant where I first learned to cook and kind of like did like learned to do everything there. Making their, their white sauce, their red sauce, and the bolognese. I literally ate pizza every day though. It was great. This is getting nice and soft. You can see the onions are getting a little translucent. So now we're gonna add some ground beef. I use ground beef and ground pork in this. It just adds like a nice richness and fattiness as well to that. A big pot is ideal for making your bolognese. So this is going to be cooking for, I think like about an hour we'll have it cook. It's going to be nice and saucy and just like really rich. It's just stewing away. This is almost there. So I'm going to just chop up some garlic. You can do a couple cloves, however much you want, and just roughly chop it. I actually, again, like with this, I love finding a little knob of like garlic in there that I'm getting. It's like really soft and kind of like melts in your mouth. I'm also going to add in some tomato paste, about, about two tablespoons. So tomato paste is one of those things that's really great because it's concentrated tomato flavors. I put that in all my red sauces, basically. It adds just like a lot more like punch of tomato right, right into it. I'm gonna add my red, my red wine into this. I'm gonna add like a whole cup of it in here and let that reduce a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna add about a half a cup of milk to this as well. And it's whole milk. Now this is about a 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes that I pureed. You can also just buy a can of pureed tomatoes. Bring this to a boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat to maintain a simmer, so like medium low, and let it cook uncovered for about an hour. It'll get nice and thick and everything. Don't taste it right now, because this is gonna reduce down and that salt flavor is gonna get stronger. Wait to the end, we're gonna season it. See what it tastes like. Now this is not your traditional bolognese in the sense of like, you know, in Bologna they use white wine, I use red wine, like this, usually a bolognese, like you can keep it on the stove for hours and just like really get it rich and deep. This is a bit of a faster version. The bolognese has been cooking for about an hour. It's gotten nice and thick. See how that's going there? It's good. So put some salt in there. It's delicious, nice and seasoned. And while that is just finishing up, I'm gonna get my garlic bread ready. We got a nice big loaf of ciabatta, and I'm going to slice it in half. I've made this sandwich before, and the thing about it, I did it on like a really nice Italian loaf before, that one of those nice, soft, fluffy ones. It didn't hold up well to the sloppy joe. It got sloppy AF, if you know what I mean. So I figured using a ciabatta is better because it'll be a little bit sturdier to hold this amount of meat. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop out a little bit of the inside so that the bolognese can kind of sit in there. So just save this stuff because you can eat it, you can make croutons, breadcrumbs, whatever with that. That's ready to go. Let me grab a sheet tray. Take some garlic cloves. You could totally put this in a food processor and just mince it. What I like to do with this is mash it all into a paste. So I'm gonna take my four garlic cloves. I'm gonna kind of roughly chop it over here. 
just like so. so I'm gonna add some salt into here. The salt kind of helps to just break down the garlic. And you just use your knife like this and just mashing it. You can see it's already like, it's nice, nice little paste here. That's awesome. This unsalted butter, I just kind of left it out at um, room temperature, so it's really, really soft. I'm gonna add that to my butter. So this is about um, eight tablespoons of butter, which is about a stick. Grab our ciabatta. And now, we're gonna just butter it. Yeah, so just like really like, don't be shy. Get it right up to the edges, right in all those little nooks and crannies. We're gonna add some of this cheese, the finely grated Parmesan and mozzarella. So just making sure you cover it evenly. And there you have it. I'm gonna put this under the broiler let the cheese get nice and melted, and the bread will get nice and toasted. If you don't have a broiler, this can go into like a 425 degree oven, like this really hot oven, and just bake it until the cheese, again, the cheese is melted and the bread is toasted. It'll probably be like 10, 15 minutes or so. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. This is perfect. It's like nice and crispy. The cheese is bubbled up and is really um, just delicious and melty and that garlic is just like overpowering and amazing. I love it. So the way to finish this now is I'm going to put some chili flakes on top. I'm going to put some chives on here too on both sides. Why not? Maybe a little bit of parsley and then fuck it. I'm going to do some powdered parmesan. Like I, I'm sorry. I love powdered parmesan cheese, especially with my bolognese. Like that is the essence of like goodness right here. Fuck your fancy ass shit with you freshly grating on your microplane. I want the powdered stuff to be quite honest. You can eat this garlic bread as is, you can eat this bolognese as is, but to combine them is the best. All right, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna take some of this guy and just scoop it right onto here. Oh my God, that's awesome. There's no being dainty about this. You know what I mean? This is literally the sloppiest of slops and it's awesome. I'm gonna put again, more Parmesan cheese on top. Look, immediately the grease and the fat and the oil just soak into it and it all turns orange and that's, that's what we want. I'm gonna slice up some basil to put on it, I think. You know, just for a little added freshness. And we're gonna put the basil on top. Look at that, this is good. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna put this guy on top. I mean, you could actually even have more bolognese in there. You really could. Should we put more on it? No, I won't put more on, this is good. Don't be a moron and put more on. <laughs> Sorry. So like the insane move would be to pick this up. Oh, God, it's. And just go like this and eat it like that. I'm gonna slice it. Because sharing is caring. Oh, yeah. Deep. It's just like soaking in there. All that butter, all that grease is soaking in the bread. And that's gonna soak into your arteries later. And really just like, it's gonna be good. We're going for it. <laughs> oh, where to start? <laughs> oh. mm. It's so good. <laughs> nice and garlicky and cheesy. This is it, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Italian Sloppy Joe. Bellissimo. <laughs>